everybody. Um, first of all, look at this cool lavender gloves. I'm very excited. Um, I am just going to do a very basic flip and drag. Um, this is a 20 by 20 canvas. Um, from Michaels, it is a level one, so it's got the staples. It is not, it is, um, like there's, they've got, uh, value packs and then level one. So this is, um, I don't buy these ones anymore, but I still have it, so I'm going to use it. Um, I, I'm going to be drinking a lot of water. My throat is really dry. Um. So I'm just going to do a flip and drag. I have previously, actually last night, I was going to come down and paint last night. I came down here, I mixed up paints, I mixed up white, and then I was just feeling really tired. So I closed up shop and went upstairs without painting. So these paints were mixed last, well these two were mixed last night. These are a little older. They are Floetrol and Water. And then one drop of treadmill silicone. Um, and I mixed up a new batch of my white paint, which is latex house paint. And that is only Floetrol and water, no silicone. So my, just wanted to do something easy tonight. Ooh, they're so pretty. Uh, my daughter came home from well, she goes to college in the same city, but she lives in a dorm, so it's like she's uh, in another state. But she came home last night, she, went, she took herself to urgent care, like at 10 last night, and then was sick. So she came over, got here around 11 last night, and has been here, and then she's sleeping here tonight, and she'll probably sleep here tomorrow night. She's borrowing my clothes. I just, it's, it's kind of sweet to have my little baby back, but I feel so badly for her because it sucks when you're sick. And, uh, I still remember, I'm going to shake my plate because I went away to college and I still remember I got sick around Thanksgiving or around Halloween. And it was so hard being sick and away from your, you know, your mom and dad and your house. So I'm glad she could come back here, even though I don't want her to be sick. So she's been spoiled rotten. I picked her up some soup at lunchtime on my lunch break. My mom went to the grocery store at like 8 this morning and picked her up some ice cream and bomb pops and Sprite. <laughs> so we all get to have our little baby back for a little bit. Meanwhile, my son was like, why is she coming home? Who cares if she's sick? <laughs> Gotta love siblings, you know? I guess they're there to keep it real. So I, you know, I haven't done a painting this size in the longest time. I mean, I can't, I'm looking around at my drying paintings and I don't even have any this size that are recent. I've been working on all those littler ones. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if this is... Maybe I'll do a touch of orange. So all of these are sitting in here. Normally I never ever stir it. Um, if you can see, they are all just sitting in there. So I am going to take this and just give it a, just a once 
once around. Hopefully that's enough paint in there. I can always add more though. It does not want to come off. So my bathroom is almost finished. I've been having it redone and it's almost finished. So I've been looking around at what pieces I want to put in it, or art pieces. I always feel kind of funny because I have my art all over my house. But I really like my art. But then sometimes it seems kind of weird to have your own art everywhere. So for those of you that are artists, do you have your own art all over your house? I mean, I suppose it's a good thing. I mean, if, you know, if I was a chef and didn't want to eat my own food, I'd be a little worried. So maybe, maybe it's the same thing. Yeah, so there's a couple of pieces I'm, I'm going to put in the bathroom, and then the bedroom still needs to be painted, so I think that is my Saturday project. Um, I should not have scraped off so much of this in the beginning, because now I'm a little bit short. I painted a rocking chair magenta yesterday and my porch, my back porch patio is now magenta, which is really unfortunate. The overspray is a little more than I bargained for, but so yeah, so I got a huge rocking chair that is now this color for my bedroom. I'm not sure if I like it, but once the room is painted, I'll live with it for a little bit and then see how I feel. And oh, there's my na nail. I thought I figured I'd lost my nail. Popping it to get the air pressure to release the section. Uh, this white seems a little thick. So I'm afraid my color is going to go under it. And when that happens, yeah, it's really thick. Oh, wow. That's something. Check out those crazies, crazy pretty cells. I'm gonna ruin them when I tilt it, I'm sure. Look at that, but I can't just leave it. I have lots of bald spots. silicone is something else. Somebody had written to me because I had been having my um, my uh, tripod in my tray and they told me that they get migraines. They suffer from migraines. And that when it was in the tray, they could sense the vibrations, probably for when I'm moving the bars and stuff, um, which when I watch, I don't notice. But um, I suppose if you're sensitive to that, you would. And so maybe there's others of you that were having the same issue. So I'm no longer putting the legs of the tripod into the... Um, 
into my washing machine pan. So hopefully that alleviates uh, that issue. This, I'm just, wow. So there's paint ev or color everywhere, everywhere I'm touching. It seems to have a lot of paint underneath. Um, it's too thick, I can't leave it, but I don't want to move it too much. It's really cool. So I'm trying to look at it and see where, I guess I'm going to have to see what part wants to move without changing the most. So I'm going to tilt real slow. And in doing so, hopefully the cells will just get bigger instead of mushed together. Because I got to get some of this paint off, otherwise it'll, I'm afraid it'll crack. So I'm tilting away from me. I know it's moving really slow, so you might not be able to tell where it's moving. I'm tilting it backwards. See, those are opening up. Except for like right where my thumb is, you would not know that I added black to this. Well, I guess there's one spot over there. Man, my house is creakety. I can hear every footstep. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. It is way, way too much paint on it. It shouldn't be this heavy. So now I'm just tilting it towards me and towards you. But this part is wanting to move and this part isn't. And I don't want that part to move. <sighs> Hoping that will help it. No, I don't want part keeps wanting to move and I don't want that part. So this is tricky. I mean, this little seesaw movement will get that one area to move because even now you can see it doesn't want to. That one by me that's stretching out that looks really cool stretched out. This being this stretched out. I'm hoping that I'll be able to bring it back my way. So 
I'm just letting it now drift. Now that it's caught that side, it'll move easier. I've said that before, it needs to catch that side, whatever side, and then it will flow. But this side has gotten way stretched out, but it looks pretty cool actually. This looks way awesome. I never would have thought I would want the cell stretched out like that. But, um, kind of reminds me of stained glass. tilting it back to try and regain some of the shapes and this that needs to be something needs to be done with it looks like a feather Now, I think I'm just going to bring it back for the last time. <sighs> going to do this fairly slowly. Um, currently, I'm in love with this. It's just these big, I hate to use the term, but I don't know how else to say it. They're like big, juicy cells. <laughs> makes it sound absolutely disgusting, but they are, they're like, they're like super cool. Um, oh, that's kind of a weird bummer, that's okay. And I am not, yeah, I got a bunch of air bubbles, I'm gonna have to torch it a little. really cool. So, oh, it is really thick. Hmm. I don't like that it's that thick. I'm thinking, I'm trying to think, do I risk tilting it some more? Because I'd be fine if this stuff got off.
scary. Once again, just been picky. It's still really, really thick. But I'm going to hope for the best. It's got some really pretty edges. So here's close-ups. I'm telling you, it sounds gross, but juicy is definitely like the best way to describe these. this one. There you can see some of the black. That area is neat. So there you have it, my 20 by 20. Um, big juicy cells. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm going with. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and click like, and I will see you all next time.